Year One. To wake up our math brains this morning, we're going to practice counting in our tens. We've done this before, so you should remember it from before we broke up, but let's refresh ourselves. So, counting in our tens. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now you can see they're going to appear on the screen now. If you want to pause and practice going backwards and forwards or perhaps having a parent or an adult skip numbers out and then they can practice with you. But our learning focus for today is going to be finding one more or one less than a number. Now you can see that I've got my number line here on my board. Oh, and it goes all the way to 20. Now let's make that a little bit bigger. So, do us practice counting our numbers first. So can read with me. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and all the way at the end, 20. Now, I want to find one more than and one less than. Now, more, we know it means a greater number. It's going to be bigger. Less than, it means it's going to be smaller. So, let's try the one more than. We're finding one more than six. Now, how we do this is on our number line, we need to find the number six. So you find the number six, and we want to find one more than. Now, if it's more, it's going to be greater, so we're going to go this way on the number line. Now, it only wants to find one more than, so we need to do one jump this way. So one jump leads us to, what number? Seven. So one more than six is seven. Try the next one, one more than nine. So again, find nine on your number line. So find the number nine. One more than nine is, and remember it's greater, it's more, so it's going to go this way, one jump. What's the next number? 10. One more than nine is 10. And one more than 15. So we're getting over the tens now. So find 15. Got that on my number line. What's one more than 15? Remember which way you're going. Do your jump. Can you tell me one more than 15 is? 16. Now here, it's one less than. So it's less, it's going to be getting smaller. So instead of going this way, we're going to come back. We're going this way on our number line. So one less than Four. Exactly the same method. Find your number first. Four. One less than four. We're not going this way anymore. We're going this way. So one jump this way. One less than four is three. And thirteen. One less than thirteen. Oh, let's see. Let's find our thirteen. Over here, we're going to do our jump. Remember which way we're going. One less than 13 is, can you tell me? One less than 13 is 12. One less than 13 is 12. And then the last one here, 20, all the way down here on our number line. So if you found your number, one less than 20, which way are we going? 19. One less than 20 is 19. Can anybody tell me what one more than 20 would be? What would be the next number on our number line if this continued? What would be one more than 20? That's right, 21. Well done. Now, if you're confident with your numbers 0 to 20, you might want to try using a 100 square. Now, you can find these online. You should be able to find a picture of one. 
or if you want a challenge you could even draw one out yourself you see how they start from number one goes all the way up to ten the new line to the next ten twenty now look at the pattern that goes down here you've got ten twenty thirty forty fifty sixty seventy eighty ninety one hundred what do all of these numbers on the end have in common well, well done if you said they all end in zero or they're counting in our tens. And if you look down at these numbers that go down in these columns, they all end in the same number in the ones column. So if I go to two, all of the numbers in this column have two in the ones column. They're adding ten each time. So it's only this tens column that is changing. So if I wanted to find one more than the number 45, can you spot the number 45 in my 100 square? Think about what 45 might look like. What's going to be in the tens column? What's going to be in the ones column? If you're not sure, pause the video so you can look for it. Number 45. So here is number 45. Found that there. Now I want to find one less than 45. Can you tell me what one less than 45 is? Have a look at the 100 square. Now here, we go this way, remember? So we go down. So one less than 45 is 44. Now if you were asked what is one less than, or let's say 61, I can't keep going this way, there's nothing there. So I go to the row above. What comes before 61? 61 less than 61 is 60. Look carefully at these hundred squares. Now really useful for you to practice your counting. So if you want to pause the screen, I would practice counting all of your numbers and see if you can go all the way to 100. And then have an adult try and test you on finding one more and one less than. If you're still not confident with your numbers to 20 though, use the number line here or find a picture of one at home and you can practice there. If you are not confident with to 20, try just to 10. But keep practicing this week. Remember, your target is a place of value. So we are practicing with our numbers. See you soon.